Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ireviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 settings that you should change on your Apple Watch in order to get better experience, better performance and also a better battery life on your Apple Watch on Watch OS 6. Let's start it off with background app refresh. Now you can find that by going to settings, go to general and right here you will find background app refresh now you will have this enabled and lower here you will see a list of all of your apps and of course they will have this enabled as well what that means is that all of these apps will be able to be working in the background basically they will be refreshing in the background and that of course consumes a ton of battery and also might decrease the performance of your device so what you want to do is of course you can go ahead and completely turn it off but you might not want to do that just go ahead leave that on and then just take a look at the list of the apps right here we'll find quite a few apps which you don't need to have background app refresh enabled so you can go ahead and just disable background app refresh for any of the apps that you don't need to have background app refresh enabled so just go ahead and from here just turn it off for any of the apps that you want under general we will also find another setting that you should change and that one is wake screen so go to wake screen and lower here we'll find on tap now on this section you will have two different options wake for 15 seconds or wake for 70 seconds so you should go ahead and turn on wake for 15 seconds so once you tap the, the watch take a look at the clock or, or a notification it will stay awake just for 15 seconds after you have dismissed the screen of course if you leave this on it will stay for longer than a minute and that of course will only consume battery without any need at all another setting that you should change that is found right here under the same section so settings general wake screen is auto launch audio apps so i suggest you keep this enabled so make sure you have this enabled so every once you want to play music through your iphone it will automatically launch the now playing app you don't need like if you want to control your music from your apple watch you don't have to go to the app right there in order to basically control your music you will have it automatically pop up and that will be way way easier for you to have access to your music controls under the general section on the settings app you will also find screenshot now if you go here you will have the ability to enable screenshots so make sure you go here and enable this setting which will allow you to take screenshots of your apple watch so just tap both of the buttons at the same time as you can see right there it will take a screenshot which will automatically be saved on your iphone the battery life of your apple watch is of course very very important and if you have the brightness turned up all the way then that battery life will be way shorter so what you got to do is go to settings go to display and brightness and make sure you keep your brightness at one so you will have one two three now one works perfectly well i have tried this under the sunlight inside everywhere it works perfectly well the, the display is bright enough so you don't need to have the brightness all the way up so make sure you go ahead and change it at one the next setting you should change is found under accessibility and right here we'll find zoom make sure it enables zoom right here so what it does is that it allows you to zoom in on the screen and you can set the maximum zoom level right here with the slider now all you gotta do is just go ahead and double tap with two fingers and then you will have the ability to take a look at anything that you zoom in right here on your apple watch so anytime you need to take a closer look at something on your apple watch you will be able to do that with this feature so go ahead and enable zoom from the accessibility section and just double tap with two fingers to zoom in double tap with two fingers to zoom out there are a few other settings that you should change on the accessibility section especially if you have like an older apple watch then go ahead and enable reduce transparency now what this does is that it will basically disable blurs and stuff that are not really so important but of course will make your apple watch work a bit faster the same here goes for reduce motion so what this does is that it will basically just turn off all the cool effects like the animations and all that stuff of course 
that's not that good to see but it will increase the performance of your apple watch and of course will improve the battery life of your apple watch as well and this is especially good if you have like an older apple watch on watch os 6 this should help the performance of your older apple watch and there is another setting that you should turn on within the accessibility section and it's called chimes now what this does is that every hour it will like give you a feedback on your wrist like a slight vibration which lets you know that an hour has passed now you can schedule it hourly every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes so every hour you will get like that nice haptic feedback on your wrist you can also enable sounds you will have birds and bells as well now if you use a passcode on your apple watch which of course you should, there's a pretty cool feature right here that allows you to enable wrist detection. Now what this does is that if you're using a passcode, the wrist detection will lock your device, your Apple Watch basically once you take your watch out of the wrist. So that's really, really cool. So once you have it on your wrist and you unlock it, then it will stay unlocked. But the minute you take it out of your wrist, then it will automatically lock your Apple Watch. And that's really, really cool. So wrist detection can be found on the settings app under the passcode section. And of course, always make sure you go under SOS on the settings app and enable fall detection. Now, what this does is that when you basically fall or something it will basically recognize that you have fault and will of course will go ahead and contact your emergency contact which of course you can set through medical id on your iphone on ios 13 so that's really really important fault detection as you have seen like many reports on the internet it has saved a ton of lives so make sure you go ahead and enable fault detection on your apple watch under the app store section of the settings app there are a few settings that you should change as well and those are automatic downloads and automatic updates so i suggest you turn these off now the thing that makes me turn these off is that sometimes you might be low on battery on your apple watch or you just are performing some other tasks and you don't want to have them being downloaded in the background automatically then go ahead and turn these off from the app store sections on the setting app and then of course you can update or install them manually through your iphone anytime you need to but for now go ahead and turn them off so they don't decrease your battery and make it even worse in times that you have low battery on your apple watch under the clock section on the settings app on watch os 6 you will find right here speak time now what this does is that it allows you to basically hear the time the apple watch will speak it for you without having to take a look at it so all you gotta do is just basically tap and hold two fingers and the apple watch will speak the time for you so that's really really convenient so all you got to do is just go ahead go to settings go to clock and enable speak time and we have a few more settings that you should change that are found under the siri section on the settings app so go to siri and right here we'll find listen for hey siri rise to speak and of course you will have their press digital crown and as i said hey siri it just activated there it goes again so what i suggest you do here is you can see like the moment you say that it will actually activate siri and of course rise to speak will do the same once you rise your apple watch up to your mouse so what i suggest you do here is just turn these off now especially if you're having like bad battery life on your apple watch or if you have like an older apple watch this will of course consume a ton of battery now a siri is always ready in the background listening and this always is just staying there and basically just waiting for your apple watch to go up to your mouth to launch siri so both of them will of course impact the performance and then of course they will also consume battery life as they are always active so what i suggest you do is go to settings go under siri and disable these two so that's it for this video guys these are 15 apple watch settings that i suggest you should change on watch os 6 especially if you have an older device like a watch 2 or 3 or even 1 you should go ahead and change these settings to get a better performance better battery life as well as of course a better experience with your apple watch 
So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more Apple Watch videos and, of course, more iOS-related iPhone and iPad videos as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.